Welcome to Energy Yoga and Wellbeing for Modern Life for Everybody, Every Person. Hi, I'm Leslie Levy. Welcome to this week's audio cast. Many of you who know me know that I absolutely love crystals, all types of crystals in all shapes of forms, whether they're natural, polished, or shaped. And crystals are wonderful healing tools. They also work as wonderful reminders and they vibrate at different frequencies. One of the most popular crystals is rose quartz. It is such a beautiful crystal. It comes in a variety of pink shades and it is a soft, nurturing crystal. You can hold it and feel that energy coming from it. Quartz is about all forms of, of love. I mean rose quartz. So love of your husband or partner, love of your parents, your children, your family, your friends. And it's also about unconditional love, that love of the soul that has no judgment attached to it. You know, lots of times when we love someone, it's conditional, or love a thing, it's conditional. And when that person does something wrong, we don't love them anymore, perhaps, or we get angry with them. And so rose quartz is a wonderful stone to use for all types of love to help rebalance. It also calms and cools any excessive energies. So rose quartz, again, is a beautiful stone to use if you're feeling stressed, feeling upset. When you're feeling, you know, that really hot, cranky sensation, that uh, feeling, rose quartz is wonderful for that, getting rid of those excessive energies, cooling and calming down. Rose quartz is also related to the heart chakra. So for those of you who don't know, chakras are energy centers. They're wheels of energy. And the word chakra comes from Sanskrit, from the Eastern Indian system of healing. And the heart chakra is based in the center of the chest, yes, located near your heart. And this is, a again, where we give our love from. And if you can think of your arms and hands as extensions of the heart chakra, where we give, when we give of ourselves, we're giving from the heart. And so this is a wonderful chakra that you can use in conjunction with rose quartz. So some ways that you can use rose quartz. If you are feeling out of sorts, if um, you're not loving yourself perhaps, maybe you're cranky with someone else and you want to calm down and rebalance, placing a, a rose, piece of rose quartz, whether it be a polished tumble stone or a natural piece of quartz, a wand, sphere, they come in all shapes and sizes. And you can place that over your heart chakra as you lie down and just breathe into that chakra, just visualizing the rose quartz, just resonating through into your heart chakra, into that area and spreading out through your chest, spreading out down your arms and your hands and just allowing the energy of the rose quartz to calm, to nourish, to nurture. Another way that you can use rose quartz is in conjunction with essential oils. So while you have the rose quartz placed on your heart chakra, you could also use some rose geranium oil and place a few drops in an oil burner. And again, that's balancing, calming, nurturing, and they work well in conjunction with each other. So over the weeks, we'll talk about different crystals and their meanings and how you can use them. But rose quartz is an all-rounder. It's a beautiful crystal to have if you're not collecting crystals yet but are interested. A rose quartz is a wonderful crystal to begin your collection. The other thing we can look at with rose quartz is sound because we are all vib vibrating to different frequencies. Each of our chakras vibrates at a different frequency. And with singing bowls, you can get singing bowls that, that are at each of the chakra frequencies. And I happen to have a set. And I'm going to sound one now for you. And this sound is for the heart chakra. Beautiful, isn't it? So putting all this information together, let's do a little meditation now. If you don't have a rose quartz, you can visualize the color pink. You can visualize a pink stone in your mind's eye. So let's begin by lying down or sitting comfortably, closing your eyes, either holding a rose quartz crystal to your heart if you're sitting 
or lying down and placing one over your heart in the centre of your chest or visualising in your mind's eye a pink coloured rose quartz stone sitting on your heart, bringing your awareness to your breath, allowing your breath to fill through your chest and as you breathe in and out, you visualise a pink colour coming from the rose quartz crystal, expanding through your chest, expanding down through your arms and your hands, filling your heart chakra, rebalancing, nurturing, feeling love for yourself and others without judgement, without analysis. And as you continue to breathe and allow the energy of either your visualised or real rose quartz do its work through your heart chakra, bring your awareness now to the sound, the sound of the heart chakra frequency as you continue to breathe slowly, deeply and naturally. And feeling the sound, feeling the feeling of nurturing, unconditional love expanding through your body from your heart center. Taking a few slow, deep breaths, feeling the love for yourself and for others, feeling calm, feeling balanced. You bring your awareness back to your breath, inhaling and exhaling. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes, ready to take on the rest of your day. I hope you've enjoyed today's audio cast and our little exploration or mini exploration of rose quartz. And I do encourage you, if you don't have a crystal, to maybe go and explore and see what crystals talk to you, which ones you're attracted to. It may be rose quartz, it may be something else. If you'd like to know more about what I do with energy, with yoga and well-being, please I invite you to come to visit my website at www.energy, that's I-N-N-E-R-J-I, dot com dot A-U. Until next time, namaste.